Okay, Dak, a little catch-up after Tuesday night. Obviously, yeah, a disappointing result, but there was a lot of positive to take from it. Yeah, obviously, you know, going down to 10 minutes after 20 minutes, it, it was always going to be difficult. Um, and probably for the first half, the period where we were down to 10 men initially, um, we struggled in terms of shape, adjusting. It's very difficult to obviously try and get the message across during the, during the first half, but... You know, we, we, we did concede before half time, but the thing was, and the thing that we've done so well this season is we stayed in the game. We stayed in there till half time. We regrouped at half time and came out second half, we were far more settled. And, and you know, to, to take it to extra time um, with 10 men, you know, it's only a positive. And I know people look at the result, and, you know, as a group, we looked at the result and we disappointed with the result, but the performance, there were a lot of positives to take out of it going into Saturday. And obviously, uh, one of the positives was a few obviously the players that hadn't played for a while, like Nathan Thomas came in um, and played played a large chunk of the game as well after being out for a little while. But also, um, new signing George Burslin made his made his first start. Yeah, touched on Nathan to begin with. You know, he has he hasn't had sort of the rub of the green this year um, so far in terms of minutes. So it was nice to be able to give him that on, on Tuesday. Um, and he's a he's a big player for us. He's an important. You know, it's an important part of the puzzle, and he proved that um, on, on Tuesday evening. He got himself in good areas, um, but he defended well at the same time. And obviously, George has come in, a bit of extra competition up front. Took him 15 minutes, I think, to get into the game, just to sell obviously a new group for him to play with. But as the game went on, he looked stronger. Um, and, you know, I think there's probably more for him to come, and, and I think we'll begin to see that over the next few weeks. And we talk about the character, the strength of character in the squad, especially being, you know, down to 10 men for almost 100 minutes. Um, during the game and then down to nine men for about 10 minutes during that period as well they still came back and, and took it to extra time getting those, uh, getting that late goal by DJ Mentality was great Mentality was spot on um, as you say you know, we did go down to nine men with the sim bin for 10-15 for minutes um, and again we were resolute in what we had to do you know players for a young group we took on board what we had to do and we did it and we did it for the great of the team you know, we weren't thinking about individuals. Players had to do different jobs. We had attacking midfielders playing as a wing back. Um, we had, you know, box to box midfielders having to sit in midfield. We had midfielders having to drop in at centre half because of the situation that faced us. And everyone just did the job and did it to the best that they could. But the mentality was spot on. You know, and, and we can talk about being down to ten men, ten v eleven, and sometimes it's difficult to play against ten men. But the fact is, the pleasant thing for me is we still create chances. Um, with a bit of luck, we probably could and should have had a penalty. Um, and, and you know, yes, Craigley had chances at the same time, but but the pleasing thing was that we we opened them up on numerous occasions, and, and we could have, you know, quite easily um, on another day with a bit more luck, um, come away with a victory. And another good thing to see was obviously uh, a couple of the under 18s um, being part of the squad, and Reese Heston coming on to make his full make his debut for the team as well. Yeah, Reese has done really well in the youth team this year so far. Um, I think he's, he's scored on average a couple of goals each game um, when you when you average it all eight. But you know we've as I say we, we've had four players from the youth team registered on. Um, he's now the second one after Ben Speak to get minutes in the first team. Both both lads the experience will will benefit them hopefully as they go back into the youth team. Um, and they'll be in and out with training with the first team now as well for the, for the coming months. So you know it's, it's it's nice for a youth team player to to get minutes on the pitch for the first team, but. They've now got to have the right attitude to go away and, and work even harder to try and break in the team on a more consistent basis. And obviously, looking ahead now, um, another tough game coming up against second place Beardley Town. What are your thoughts on that game? Tough game, tough game. Beardley, are, you know, the joint um, top scorers in the league with Shifnal, so got a lot of firepower in there. Um, they're coming into it on the back of a league defeat against Dudley um, from sort of ten days ago, two weeks ago. So they're going to come down to Ludlow looking to prove a point. Obviously, their focus is to try and stay as close to Schiffen as they possibly can, as is obviously to try and climb up the table. Um, but we've got a good record against the teams above us when we've played them. You know, we've beaten Dudley, we've beaten Worcester, um, we drew to Kazis. So um, you could probably say playing against the better teams, the league has suited us more this year than playing against the teams um, sort of in the middle to bottom uh, ranges. So you know, we're, we're prepped, we're we're ready for the fixture, um, and you know from from anyone looking from the outside, if we take anything, they're, they're probably going to see that as a bit of a bonus for us. And obviously news coming out of the club as well um, over the next 24 hours of Jack Marsden moving on. Um, obviously a disappointment to lose Jack, but he, he goes with our best wishes. 
Yeah, we, you know, it was a, a conversation we've had this week. Um, there's no hard feelings amongst either of us. Um, and, you know, we'll help him out where we, where we possibly can to help him move on and find the right place. Um, and, you know, with any lad that, that leaves, the, the door's never closed for the future. So um, there, may, there may be that opportunity to, to work something out in the future, but for this moment in time, it, it hasn't worked out so far. And, and, and um, certainly in the immediate future, it, it's, it's not right for both parties to continue. Cheers. Thank you.